Today we're going to be talking about water pipe connection fittings and we're going to start with PEX. PEX is short for polyethylene cross-linked. Now that sounds pretty scientific. It refers to the chemical makeup of the pipe. Polyethylene is a plastic. Cross-linked refers to how the plastic molecules are connected together. And when they're cross-linked they are able to expand and contract without tearing apart, which gives the PEX tubing its strength and resilience as a water pipe. Now, it seems like pretty often manufacturers are coming up with some new way to connect the PEX together. They're gonna use this tool or that tool and of course they're gonna wanna sell you their $2,000 tool set so that you know you can connect the PEX in the new fancy way. So we are going to go over a few of the fittings and connection rings that are used by PEX manufacturers but please keep in mind that this is not all of them and there are possibly other ways that you can connect this together but we're going to hit the basics so that you understand the most common stuff that is out there in the plumbing field let's get to it let's start with the earliest form of pex connectors and this is the barbed pex fittings this is a barbed pex coupling and you can see on the fitting that there are ribs you can see the lines where it kind of sticks out a little bit First, a ring is inserted over the PEX tubing, then the fitting is pushed into the PEX tubing, and the ring is crimped over these barbs, and as it's crimped, it is compressed. That presses the plastic into the barbs, and it creates a very tight seal. Here we have two copper crimp rings. These rings are what are compressed on the outside of the PEX tubing. Both of these rings are made out of copper. The one on the left is dark because they've given it a little paint coat. And both are crimped on the outside of the PEX, pressing the PEX into those barbed fittings. A more recent option for a ring to tighten onto a barbed PEX fitting is this stainless steel clamp ring. This ring is slid on the outside of the PEX, just like those copper crimp rings, and then cinched down tight to create the seal. Now each of these, the copper rings and this stainless steel clamp ring, have a particular tool to use in order to tighten them down. The nice thing about the stainless steel clamp ring is that you can use the same tool on different sizes, whereas the copper crimp rings, you have to have a different tool for every copper crimp ring size. Now, Viega is one of the manufacturers out there who have produced a lot of plumbing products and including PEX tubing and PEX fittings. And they were one of the first ones to develop this type of fitting where the PEX ring and the fitting are connected together in one piece. So you can see here, this is a Viega PEX press coupling and the rings are a stainless steel. The tubing slides into that under the ring. You can see the stainless steel ring. They go under the ring, but over the plastic fitting inside of there. And then a special tool, once again, is used to create the crimp. The nice thing about the Viega PEX press tool is that it is battery operated and that saves a lot of fatigue on the installer, especially if you're there installing PEX all day long. Here we have an image of the Viega PEX press crimp ring all by itself. Those rings can be purchased separately from the plastic fittings or replaced, but this is what that stainless steel ring looks like. And once again, that's just going to crimp on the outside of the PEX tubing. Moving on to another type of PEX fitting. This is the Uponor Pro-PEX coupling. And if you look, it does have barbs or ribs that kind of stick out from the fitting. But these are shaped quite a bit different than the ones that we saw on the barbed fitting. Now, Uponor was developed before it was called Uponor. It was called Wurzbo, and that name still may be out there in the market. But the principle behind the Uponor PEX is that they're going to stretch the PEX out over the fitting and allow it to relax back down and as it relaxes it tightens against the fitting. So it's not so much a crimping action but an expanding and contracting. Now to make sure that there is a tight seal against that fitting as the PEX contracts back down, 
Upanor systems use an additional ring, so it does have a ring. It's not a copper crimp ring or stainless ring. It's actually a piece of PEX, just like the tubing. But its diameter is a little bigger so that it can slide over the outside of the PEX, and both the PEX and the ring are expanded out together until the fitting can slide inside, and then the PEX and the ring are allowed to contract back down over the fitting. This creates a good and tight seal. One of the selling points for Upanor is that they have a better flow through the pipe and fittings. Barbed fittings push into the fitting, which restricts the flow as the water hits that fitting inside the tubing. Whereas Upanor actually expands over the fitting, the fitting has a larger inside diameter and this creates a better flow for the water through the tubing and through the fittings. That's one of their selling points. One of the disadvantages to the Upanor system is that when it's cold outside, it takes a really long time for that tubing to contract back down. Sometimes you'll even have to use a heat gun and actually encourage the relaxing of the PEX tubing over the fitting. And that creates a lot of extra work. All right, I've introduced you to three different types of PEX connection fittings. These are some of the most common that are used by plumbers out there. So it's good to familiarize yourself with these. We will look more specifically at the fittings for each of these types in upcoming presentations. Thank you for watching and I will see you then.